Hello, ho. it's Christian from Berlin and it's a video on intro for Boogie and Blues. Actually, in all my two years here on the channel, I've never done a video on intros. It's about time. And we're going to have a look at a universal, special and very easy weapon to create um, uh, an intro. It's these chords here. You, as I said, it's Boogie and Blues. First an example like... Uh, for boogie. And in blues it would be yeah. So what have we here? The first thing is this chord. Have a good look at it. It's the C6 chord. Have a look at this. It's the C major triad with the octave here. And the fourth finger is taking the sixth, the major sixth with the next one. This one and this is the so called C diminished chord here have a look diminished because it consists only of minor thirds a minor third is three half tone steps one two three and they're all minor thirds one minor third two three this is a C diminished and again we double the octave so we have now the C6 and the C diminished and then we have a third guess here. It's a superimposed chord. It's not a C chord anymore, but we leave the C bass here. It's this one. And here hidden is, first of course, you could call it a D half diminished, but I would rather call this an inversion of the F minor six chord here. We just put the six down here. So we have these three chords, I repeat them. So it's the C6, the F minor with the 6, so F minor 6. No, sorry, we have the um, C6, sorry. Then the C diminished. Then the superimposed F minor with the 6 and going back to C. Depending now if we want to do it for boogie or for blues, we treat them rhythmically different. So let's have a look at this rhythm. It's, it starts with Emmons, I believe, and then everybody plays it. And of course, variations of that, like. on but it's all these chords and we have a look at this rhythm it would be and this of course indicates a quick five because then we are starting with the with the tonic now to play a block chord is a block chord um, dotted is quite difficult to make it even and not um, uh, sound chunky like yeah um, so we have um, possibility to ease it a little bit and that would be like we we dissolve it into one chunk and the thump again our rhythmic helper so we play always same rhythmic structure do ba do ba de, do ba da ba de, then we of course have to move here bam, ba, dam, ba. and then do ba do ba and then just we break this chord into into thump and the rest that's easy 
yeah so that's the um, uh, standard way and it always gives a great intro and very often very often it's done to fortify the left hand a little bit like and then here with a diminished chord you go one down F and then So you have uh, a little voice in the middle that goes down also, which is nice. Now, we slow the tempo down for, for blues and of course we have more time and it's less rhythmically aggressive. And uh, so we can put a bit more emphasis on a little bit of melodious movement within the structure. What about this one? Just a chord that makes it so easy. It's really we use only chord notes, and that make if you understand it, you have possibilities for variations. Understanding here means really um, the door is open to creativity with these um, chord notes. What is this? Is this just a G7? No, I added the augmented five. It's a very nice dominant also in blues instead of just the G7. We do this. Nice sound, huh? It's a good variation. Write it down. And then we go on. Okay, so this is one possibility. Now, since you cannot make a mistake with this, if as long as you stay in the chord notes, you can do variations and all your band members will think you have like a 50 intros and you don't. You just understood the chords and let's say just down that's it that's all again now the other one creative can we do something else what about this one we don't have to use the six we can we don't have to This last bit I want to show you, it's nice in the last one, if you do a little, um, what just one add one, add eight, uh, eight note. Like, I start with a simple form and I'll show you what I mean. Nice to have this little detail. You see, there's a difference, eh? Sounds a little bit more refined. One more, one last 
example. This is really nice and it works always and it always sounds sophisticated, these chords. <laughs> You can even play them in any other order. It sounds always like you studied blues in Berkeley. Okay, I hope you could give you some inspiration to do use this um, for your next intro. Or if I teach you blues, um, just hang an intro in front of that. It's just always nice. It doesn't matter what blues. It's always nice to have a little bit. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye from Berlin. Bye bye from Christian. Bye bye from Germany. Bye bye also from my piano. It just cannot talk. Bye bye. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye. I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. And now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.